So this problem is dealing with a density calculation. Now there's a lot of blah, blah, blah here. It's not important. <laughs> what we're after, we wanna calculate density. And notice where the problem is set up. The problem is giving you mass directly, and it's giving the volume directly there, okay? And it is asking, is the, the ring genuine? So it, it's asking, is it really platinum or not? So, oops. you know, density is a physical property. Uh, platinum has a very specific density. I looked it up at 21.4 grams per cubic uh, centimeter. And we want to know whether this piece of jewelry is actually platinum or not. And we can do that through density. Um, now, for this particular problem, it's really just a, it's just a plug and chug type of problem. And uh, density is equal to mass divided by volume. And these are two very common units of volume. And you really just need to plug and chug these different values into the formula and then factor in the six figs for this. Now, both of these, one, two, three, six figs, three, six figs there. And so my final answer is gonna have three, six figs. And actually the calculator would give me this as an example of rounding. So let me just go ahead and do that. My calculator to give me a bunch of numbers, right? I can't use them all because of the, the three six figs there. And so when I round this one off, <clears throat> it's a uh, 21.4 and this grams per cubic centimeter. And like I said earlier, platinum does have that same density. So this is a, 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 a platinum uh, ring that she bought, okay? Uh, one little side note is um, another common unit for density that we use is, is milliliter. And I just want to be clear that cubic centimeter and one milliliter are the same value. And so it makes these types of conversions pretty easy. You don't have to do any math. You really just change the unit since they are equivalent to each other. Okay. So the problem, I, the problem I want to do here is this first one here. And this is an example. There's actually two issues here that we have to worry about. I mean, ultimately, we want to calculate volume from the density density formula. Um, let's, let's do that first. So we sort of set up the, uh, the algebra. And again, I sent out a, a link about this yesterday. So we say density is mass uh, divided by volume. There's, there's, I can think of three different ways to talk about this. Uh, you know, we, we want to solve for volume, great. Um, and you can do that just typical algebraic way. Uh, you can also do this calculation really in the context of like dimensional analysis. And I'll talk about that a little bit once I actually set it up. But you can also use this little guy, and this is fairly useful. Um, this is an equation triangle. Um, and, and it's, it's a substitute. It's like a cheat, if you will, in terms of helping you do the, um, the algebra for a problem. Like for example, um, it, there's a lot of formulas. Something is equal to something divided by something else. <laughs> and so whenever you have this kind of simple formula, this works. And the way to read this is in the, in the one of the videos, um, uh, that we're looking at, that I sent to you yesterday, talked about this. If you go in this direction, um, it, it, it's multiplied by, if you go down this way, it's divide by, like for example, density is equal to mass divided by volume, just like I wrote up here. If I wanna calculate mass, I go this way, and it's density times volume. If I wanna calculate volume, then that's you know going in this direction. What's left? Mass divided by density. And again, it's just sort of a quick little tool that you can use to work out the algebra for one of these simple formulas. Again, we want the volume, so it's actually this expression. Let's do that. So we got part of it taken care of. The other part to watch out for is the fact that 
the units of mass do not agree between the density value and the mass that's given for the sample. And so there's an additional calculation that you have to do here. You have to go, you have to figure out this information. How many uh, grams are in 35 milligrams? I'm gonna do this sort of the old fashioned way, just straight up dimensional analysis uh, type of problem. So there's one step in this calculation and I need to figure out the conversion factor between one milligram and a certain number of grams, my conversion factor to use in the calculation. And if we look back at our um, metric system, we find that milli has a meaning of 10 to the minus three. That's the exponent that's always associated with the uh, milli prefix. And again, just like I did on a problem earlier, uh, whatever unit that I'm looking at, I just simply insert that exponent for that unit. And I'm keeping, right, I kept the one and the gram, and the one and the gram in the same place. That establishes my conversion factor. And then to set it up in a, in a problem, It would look something like this, where right, milligram is what I start with, so it's this portion of the conversion factor that'll go on the bottom. The other portion will go on top. And it's there to help keep track of what I multiply and what I divide by. Um, now, the net effect of doing this is here when you, this is multiplying by 10 to the minus three. What you're doing is essentially moving the decimal over three places to the left when you do this particular calculation. And now we're ready. Now we're ready to plug and chug into our final formula here. Why is that? Because the mass here agrees with the mass in my density value that's given in the problem. Okay, so simply it looks like this. You divide the two and you get, uh, there it is. Again, my calculator gives me more digits than I can use. Hmm. My, my computer. And then look at my sig figs in my problem. I have two sig figs in that data, three sig figs in that data. The rule is, right, for division problem or for division operation, you use the fewest number of sig figs. Next digit down is less than four, so you're really just going to drop that portion of the expression. So the answer is, here we go. 